Good morning guys, it's 5.22 in the evening and Joel and I already filmed a vlog this morning. I thought it was hilarious. <laughs> Joel didn't think it was as hilarious as I do. So we ended that vlog earlier today and then Joel started this new project and it was so weird because the whole time I'm like, Joel, we need to be filming this. <laughs> like it feels so weird. Like, oh, Cody almost ran over Boston. I said Boston, but I meant Lincoln. Is he literally pumping his own bike tire? What are you doing, honey? Where did you learn to do that? Did you take the cap off? Yeah. You took the cap off your tire. He, you guys, I can't even do this. Joel, do you see your son? Oh my gosh. Okay, this might not be a big deal to very many people. But how many of your, maybe a lot, maybe all four-year-olds can pump their own bike tire? I, oh my gosh, I'm thoroughly impressed right now. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay, Cody, you literally almost ran over me and then you almost ran into that tree. You have got to be careful or you will not ride that bike. Well, but you gotta, if, if people are down, if, down stream of you, you can't be running your bike like that, no way. If you're gonna ride that bike, you be a lot more safe than that. Yeah. If people are right there on the sidewalk, if you don't have a clear path all the way down, don't even think about it. Be smart, come on bud. The reason I grabbed the camera is because it felt weird that we weren't recording something and I was like, I wanna go get the camera. I guess that's a good sign that we love what we still do because we still like, we wanna- like to pick up the camera. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We had a old window well here that was made out of wood mm -hmm. and it was rotting. You can keep doing your thing. Nah, it's too early. Okay. You gotta let it set up. So it was rotting and it, the dirt was tilting this way into your house, and that's a sure way to have a flood. That's so. a real quick way to have a flood. We've replaced the ones in the backyard with cement, and so this is just going to be a cement window well, and we'll fill it with rocks. It's gonna look real good. It's gonna be real good. It's gonna look real, real good. And to be honest, these concrete ones, if you know how to do it, it's half the cost of the steel ones, just twice the work. You look so handsome down there. I don't even care what you're saying. Yeah. Isn't the beard look handsome? I told him to go watch that vlog. From afar, it looks so dang good. Yeah, Tell me what you said when you walked in the house. Well, when I stopped to get gas today, I was like, I'm kind of walking around like a rooster, just like, <laughs> I am the car gonna walk here. I was like, just don't stay 10 feet away. Everybody stay 10 feet away and I'll look fine. As long as we social distance, you look fine. See? Okay, turn your head to the side. Yeah, coronavirus look. Look how sharp that looks. Turn your head to the other side. You ready for this? Yeah, yeah, but if you get really close, you can tell that the skin is tinted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. That is rich. That is neat. <laughs> Lincoln, stand up. Let's get your teeth brushed. Lincoln, come here. All the other kids are brushing their teeth, but do you know that I, more often than not, I actually brush my older kids' teeth because, why do I do that, guys? <laughs> because you guys do not focus and brush your teeth you sit and think and do other things and so you only half-heartedly brush your teeth and then when we go to the dentist we're gonna have so many cavities come here Lincoln you're first I mean, look, it's huge. this summer already it's not even the summertime yet and my kids are summer well that too but in the mornings I layer their face with sunblock <laughs> they're still sunburned in the evening and at night we lather with lotion Olivia is no exception most of the time Olivia does this herself but you know this is all vlog worthy right out oh, what I gum oh that's right okay what side hey Cody no. has a canker. No. Oh, oh Cody has a canker right up here, and the other day he was swinging on the swing, and the swing flung up and whacked him right where his canker was. Busted open. open his canker. It was bleeding like crazy, and when he spit the blood out of his mouth, a chunk of skin I feel went so into bad. the sink. And I had to be so soft with his ears because they get sores. Yep, they're like blistered from the sun. Okay, Bossy, you're next. 
He bossed and brushed his own teeth, but I'm just going over for a second one over, just to make sure. Did I dry gag yet? Sorry. Last child. It's like a mini facial. It's a mini massage. I have to pay people to do this for me, Boston. <laughs> and you get a free mom. Yeah, yeah. It's not free. You have to treat me good. <laughs> Okay, everybody out, let's go. I want everyone in the family room. Everyone has their jammies on. No, you don't need any more lotion. Come on in the family room. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, that lighting. Just one second. Okay, I actually have like raging butterflies in my stomach right now. I thought I would just come in here and give you a little context of the situation so that I could focus more on the kids and less about the content. My sister Ellie is moving. If you guys know, she's like, my best friend, we live right next door to each other. We live, well, it's like three minutes away from each other. We can go for walks and ride our bikes to each other's houses. There's a lot to this, but I'm just gonna keep it really simple and basic. Um, I won't be posting this video until she announces it on her social media, and so I'll probably, we're making this video now because as we're talking about it, they're like kind of hearing things and I don't want Ellie's kids to tell my kids before. I have a chance, so anyway, you can tell I'm just like a little shaky, a little sad. Like I said, there's like a lot more of like my emotion and thought behind it, but it is, it'll, we'll just keep it real basic for this vlog. This is not super fun news for me to tell you guys, um, but I'm sure you've heard me and Aunt Ellie talking. I'm a little bit. Aunt Ellie and Uncle Jared actually are moving. There's a lot of reasons, but mostly because they want to live somewhere just a little warmer. Logan gets really cold. Our winters are really, really long. We only have a couple months of summer. And so do you guys remember when we went to St. George with Aunt Ellie and we went to Carl and Ginger's house yeah. and we hung out with them? They're moving to St. George. So it's warmer a lot longer through the year. And if you got in the car and drove there, it would take us about, is it five hours? Mm -hmm. It'll take us five hours to get to their house. So it's farther than Aunt Ruby's? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the closest Aunt is now the one that's farther as Aunt. Yep, but if we got up at six in the morning and left, we, could be we would be noon. there by noon. That's pretty good. They're moving and it's gonna be a little bit different. It's going to be a lot different. Well, we have Uncle Bo and Aunt Emily here in Logan with us, mm -hmm. and we're good friends with those kids. Mm -hmm. But I know it's a little different because Jackson and Calvin are kind of our good friends, aren't they? Because Jackson was my best friend cousin. Yeah. Yeah, and I loved Calvin too. You know, that's really sad, huh? But we've been making we've been making summer plans and we've been talking about what we're going to do certain times and the kids are like, well, we'll just go to Aunt Ellie's or we'll get in the hot tub or we'll do this. And so I just wanted to know well, that we can't do any of that. How yeah. we're screwed. We're not screwed. <laughs> oh, the plans. No, they're just going to be changed a little bit. Typically, we'll spend every holiday with them, and we probably won't be doing that anymore. But we will be making new memories. So we've kind of been doing the same thing with them for several years now. Each holiday, we spend with them, and now we'll make new memories. We'll get in the car and we'll go to St. George, and we'll make memories in St. George. Yeah, we can't see Tommy anymore. We'll still see Tommy. It just won't be every day. What's his name? That's right. <laughs> if there's one thing we've learned from the coronavirus is that Zoom meetings work really, really good, I guess. So we'll just FaceTime everybody. And... Yeah, so that was actually kind of weird. They they did it over FaceTime because we, this whole quarantine, I, a lot of people have been like, you should do something with Ellie and Jared. I'm like, no, it's quarantine. So we haven't even seen those guys. They did it over FaceTime. They FaceTimed us and told us. Mm -hmm. And I, we kind of baby knew, like just maybe a little bit. They've been talking about it for years, actually. And when she first mentioned it, I think three years ago, maybe mm -hmm. two years ago, I was like, yeah, no, <laughs> you're not going anywhere. <laughs> like our business was 
at a, not at a point where they could go. And then last year, Ellie was like, you should move to St. George with me. She's like, let's both move to St. George. And I was like, yeah, no, that's not happening. I'm not moving to St. George because I hate the heat. Like, I'm a hot-blooded person. And, um... She is hot. And then this year, she was just like, I can't do this anymore. She's like, I think I need to move. How are you guys supposed to do Bali then? So, we've gotten Bali to a point where... We have hired out most of our work. No, nope, we're not nope. going to stop doing Bali. No, nope, we'll not stop doing Bali. We have hired most of the work out, and the parts that we haven't hired out, Ellie and I can still do remotely. Mm -hmm. So we can do it online and over the phone together, and mm -hmm. and we'll still travel together. We'll mm -hmm. just meet there instead of flying there together. It took me. I've known for maybe a month and I couldn't even talk about it. <laughs> if it even got brought up, I was crying. And um, But I feel like there's a lot of exciting things to look forward to, and ultimately, like I want Ellie to be happy. So if this is what makes Ellie happy, then I'm happy for the decision too. Um, but it just takes some time like to process. Mm -hmm. Well, if we go down to their house, I think there's lots of like sand there. We could write our photos more often out there. Mm -hmm. For sure. Absolutely. She may or may not be putting in a pool. I don't know, but there's talk of it. So that would be super fun. Don't be surprised if we make a trip down there every other month. I'm not even kidding. Mm -hmm. I think that we plan on going there quite a bit, Cody. Do you want to know what Aunt Ellie said? She said, I don't want my boys to be away from your boys. That's like one of the whole reasons. Yeah, we can't do the arcade with Jackson. We can still do arcades with Jackson. What's an arcade? What's an arcade? <laughs> You're just kind of oblivious. <laughs> I actually waited for as long as I could before I told you guys because I knew I knew how heartbroken you were going to be. I think we're going to sit and process this, so we will close the vlog here. See you guys in our next video. Bye, guys.